Hi guys, my name is Jacob. I am a third year medical student. I'm going to show you how to download Anki as well as Anki Hub, and I'll just give you a step by step process on how to do all that. So, go down to your browser, type in Anki. Click the first link, scroll down. There's going to be a bunch of different options. You just got to pick whatever one works for your device. Uh, I'm on a Mac and I still have it, the Intel chip, but if you have a lot of the newer Macs, it'll be silicon. So click that. Got to go down there and download. All right, once it is downloaded, you're going to look it up. And when you look it up, it's going to have you choose which language, hit open. Yes. Hit OK. Okay, it's going to look pretty blank. We'll change that. So first things first, we need to make an Anki web account that is different from the Anki Hub. Anki Hub is a company, and they're the ones that make the whole Anki V12 stuff. And the Anki Web is the people who own Anki, and they're the ones that allow you to sync your cards and have everything all uh, organized. So we'll go to Anki Web. Click this first link right here. You're going to hit sign up and then put in your credentials. Okay. And then it's going to send you an email. All you have to do is go and accept that. Okay. And then you're going to refresh the page and then hit proceed. Okay. So all this allowed you to do is to sync up your cards to the Anki, or the Anki cloud. So when you're on the go, you hit sync and it'll save to all your devices. So we're gonna go back to our Anki. We're gonna go to here, we're gonna go to preferences. We're gonna go down to syncing and you're gonna hit login and then you're gonna log in with the credentials that you just made. Okay. Once you've logged in, you're gonna hit yes. You're gonna be syncing, but there's gonna be nothing to sync. At this point, you can just hit upload or download. It doesn't really matter because you have none of your cards here. Okay, now we're gonna sign up for Anki Hub. So this is the people who make the uh, Anki V12 deck. So this is the deck you'll be using all throughout medical school. So just hit sign up. Create a username and password. Okay, now click whatever you, you're in school, hit sign up, verify your email. Once you've verified your account, log in with your credentials. Once you have logged in, you're gonna arrive to this page. This is the Anki Hub page. Uh, they have a bunch of different decks you can look at, um, the Anki deck, which we're gonna be using, MCAT stuff, etc. cetera. Uh, so what we're gonna do first though, is we're gonna get the Anki Hub add-on. So hit this plus button, just type in Anki Hub add-on. Okay. We're going to go down here. You're going to copy this code right here. And you're going to go over to Anki. You're going to hit Tools. You're going to hit Add-ons. Get Add-ons. Copy and paste that code. Hit OK. Hit OK. Exit. And you're going to have to exit out of Anki for these changes to take effect. So we'll go back over to your Anki, open it up. All right. Now you're going to have this Anki, uh, Anki Hub uh, up here. You're going to click this. You're going to hit sign in. You're going to sign in with the same credentials you made before. Once you have signed in, it should look a little different. You're going to see all this stuff right here. You're going to go back over to the Anki Hub page and you're going to go and click Anki Step Deck, hit subscribe, subscribe again. Once you've hit subscribe, you're going to show up to this page right here. You're going to go back over to this Anki page and you're going to sync everything. So hit sync, hit install. And then once this happens, you're going to have to um, obviously pay for the Anki Hub membership. 
it's pretty cheap. It's like five bucks a month. You can spend like two hundred dollars to get a lifetime access. Is uh, what I did because um, you get it through residency. Everything I'm probably going to use it through then. So go to Anki Hub Plans. You'll see the plans here. And then if you want to just start off, you can do $5 a month. You can cancel whenever you want. So hit get started. Once you have bought your account and put in all your credit card information, it should pull up to this page again. This is the one we're familiar with. Okay. So now go back to your Anki. Hit OK. We already paid. We're going to hit sync again. Hit install. Once it's downloaded, you're going to get this message. Hit OK. Okay, so it's going to take a little while to sync. Uh, you're effectively downloading like 50,000 photos, so give it some time. Let it do its thing. In the meantime, I'll kind of show you what's going on. So if you hit this Browse button, it'll show up with all this different stuff, okay? So what we're going to do is minimize everything, close it all up, and right here you have the whole Onking deck, okay? So here are all the cards. If you hit up here, there's about 30,000. So here's the step one tag, step two, step three. Um, I'll make separate videos on how to go through all this stuff, but this is just a video on how to get everything all set up. So as you can see, everything's here. If you go to Sketchy, Sketchy, let's just do Sketchy Micro, hit Bacteria. You're going to see a bunch of these little image icons right here. And you're gonna, you might freak out and be like, oh my gosh, where are my images at? It's gonna take time, so you just gotta wait a little while for them to download. All of the images will be there. So, probably let it sync for like an hour or so, and everything should be there. Okay. And that is pretty much everything. Um, you have this getting started with Anki uh, tag right here that you can uh, look through if you want. Um, it's not really needed. But yeah, I hope that helped.